Joining me now on this episode of Locally Source CP is the general manager of Borderland Roller Derby, Miss Ivy Reese, aka yeah. Miss Pretty Poison. Ma'am, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Oh, I, I appreciate you joining me. I, I know lots of people still have questions. What is roller derby? Roller derby is just a bunch of women on skates and they're knocking each other around on a track. <laughs> that's like I, the gist of it yeah I, i've been to a few matches especially when my sister-in-law uh when she first started doing it and it, it you guys get pretty physical yes we do I, I mean like um i know you guys like could you like just briefly explain like you know how do you score points or what, what do you what do, what do you have to do to to score points yeah so basically roller derby is you have four blockers from each team mm -hmm. um they're going to be lined up on the blocker line and then you're going to have what we're, we call the jammers. They're the people distinguished with the stars on their helmets. And when the first whistle blows, we call it the pack, which is the blockers. They take off. And then the second whistle blows. And then that's when your jammer per team takes off and they have to try to get through the pack. Once they get through the first initiation, um, that's when they come back around, get into the pack, and they start scoring points by every time they pass the opposing blocker. Oh, wow, that's uh, and then it's so it's not just and it's not just uh, oh let me just skate by real quick. It's like I'm oh, gonna no. knock you down. Yeah, you know blockers are not gonna make it easy for you as a jammer to try to get through. So that's where you see a lot of the hits and the falls. Um, it's just pretty much they're trying to prevent the opposing jammer from scoring and you're trying to get your jammer to score points so it's kind of like an offense defense kind of game at those like simultaneously we're talking about you know the scoring the physicality of the sport itself roller derby mm -hmm. i mean are the hits and the knockdowns are, are they real of course they're real yeah they're real <laughs> <laughs> um i mean these ladies train in order to take these hits and, and give hits so Everything you see on that track is real as far as the hitting, the falls, you know, the girls injured. I mean, we ain't faking injuries. We want to keep playing. So everything you see is real. Yeah. I, I mean, like, uh, um, I, wow. I mean, you get like, you guys are like, you guys have elbow knee pads and some wrist guards and that's it. And some helmets. I mean, yep. you guys have, and that's what we expect to protect us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys have less pad. You girls have less pads than football players. Yes. And you guys, I mean, there's no joke. You guys actually like you knock each other over and it, it is, it is crazy. Yeah, it, it can get pretty intense. I've seen throughout my years, I've seen many injuries. And the one thing that ladies just have to focus on is just making sure that you learn how to play safe. And that's why they train. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole process of playing the game itself is just training your body to pretty much learn how to safely maneuver on the track with girls around you. And if you fall, you fall small. I mean, there's not every injury you can prevent, but there are some injuries that can be preventable. Mm -hmm. Then basically you guys trained to like, you guys also trained to, like you said, fall. Cause I mean, yes. you, you, the way you go, like if you go down wrong, I mean, that's, that's an easy broken wrist or oh, yeah. you hit your head, you get a concussion. Uh, I, I mean, you, you guys basically, you guys learn how to fall and catch yourselves correctly. So you don't, you, you lessen the chance of getting injured. Yeah. So yeah. like girls go through a process, what we call is, we know, we call it fresh meat. So fresh meat mm -hmm. is like our new skater program. And what happens in fresh meat is you learn the basics of roller derby, but you also learn the basics of, okay, how do I learn to skate? Cause I have girls that don't even know how to skate. There's mm -hmm. girls that I get from scratch during this program. Um, so we teach girls how to skate first, how to get comfortable on the skates. Then we teach them falls. Then we teach them stops. Then we start getting more into like the interesting parts, which is, you know, how do you properly hit someone? Where are the illegal legal zones to hit someone? And pretty much just preparing them for game mode. So because once the game happens and a girl's in the game, you know, it's one of those things where you're gonna feel the hit and you have to prepare for it again you can't you can't train you know you can't i guess say 
prepare for yourself for everything, but there are certain things, certain injuries that you can prepare for. Right, right. And, you know, this is a perfect segue for me to jump in. And especially since you mentioned fresh meat uh, program. How do you guys come up with your names? You guys have some cool (laughs) ass names. I mean, Miss Pretty Poison, that's, that's a pretty cool name. Thank you. Um, you know, it's funny, a lot of girls come up with their names just randomly. I have girls that have come up with their names. They try to like, I guess, play around with their real names. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have girls that will try to play around with their real name, but try to make it, I guess, a little, a little dramatic, a little uh, theatrical. Um, I have some girls that, you know, they take inspiration from things they like uh some girls will take names from like movies they like songs they like uh maybe a childhood memory maybe a childhood nickname they used to have you know girls love to have I guess a persona that represents them on that track I'm you know I'm on the streets my name is Ivy but on the track I'm I miss Pretty Poison it gives me kind of like an edge on that track it gives me this feel that you know I'm here to like chew bubblegum and kick some ass and I'm all out of bubblegum <laughs> nice. yes I was like you gotta finish that saying <laughs> I know you gotta finish it now yeah if you don't if you don't know what that saying's from you look it up and watch the movie and make a comment later uh, yeah. uh and then my next question for you is like you know what got you st- how did you get into roller derby uh so cliche uh story uh, I was actually with an ex of mine and we were taking my little sister at the time to a to go watch a movie for her birthday. And in front of the movie theater, we had seen uh, a bunch of girls on roller skates and they were just skating around, passing out flyers. And I remember one of the girls approached me and she had given me a flyer mm-hmm. and I looked at it and it was a fresh meat flyer like to join, you know, the league. And I remember showing it to my ex and my ex was just like, no you're too timid you're too scared like you can't won't be able to handle it and I'm the type of person that when I prove them wrong Mm -hmm. so two weeks later I ended up calling you know whoever was in charge at the time and letting them know like hey I'm interested in your league I want to join how do I do it and two weeks later I'm over here buying gear I you know I show up to the to the venue and I've been doing roller derby ever since and that's so cool. <laughs> and is, uh, do you have a preferred position you you play? Um, I used to prefer being a blocker when I was, you know, back in my day. I was, I preferred it because it was like jammer. You know, they're targeting you, so mm-hmm. that was always the biggest fear of mine to be targeted. Um, once I started, I guess, increasing my level. I wanted to challenge myself and I find that jamming now, you know, scoring points is actually my preferred position. I love to jam. Uh, Not very many people, believe it or not, in, in, in roller derby like to jam. Um, But I'm one of those people like, what you need me. Okay. I'm, I'm there. I'm on the jammer line. (laughs) That's so cool. I mean, and then just to keep you, um, just keep, I mean, what, what makes you keep going back and, 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 you know, keep on playing the sport? I like the camaraderie of it all. I love being around, you know, all the women that I've met throughout my years in roller derby. Mm -hmm. And I love to see like them progress because it makes me want to progress. You know, even though I'm more of an experienced skater now, there isn't nothing that I can't learn. You know, you can always continue learning different things. And that's what I love. I love that I can keep on challenging myself in this sport. And at the same time, have fun with everyone around me that I've gone, you know, gone to to grow and, and know. So I think that's why I stick around. That's cool. And then do you think, like, um, if someone's interested, um, who can they contact? I mean, can they contact you or do you guys have a website? I mean, uh, how can someone, if someone's interested, even if they're interested in helping the league? Um, So we're always looking for skaters. We're always looking for officials. We're always looking for just volunteers. 
So if anybody's ever interested, they can always contact me. You know, um, I put my number out there on our websites on our social media. So they can always contact my personal number or they can always contact, you know, Facebook, uh, Borderline Roller Derby, Instagram, Borderline Roller Derby, or our website, www.borderlinerollerderby.com. Awesome. Awesome. And then I'll make sure I, I include all your guys' information in the description below. So yeah. that way, if anyone, if they, they want to contact you to either help or even shoot just to go out and watch you guys, I'll, that yeah. way they can look you up. Do you guys have anything coming up like soon or, or what, what is like your guys' season? How does that roll? Ah, no pun intended. So, <laughs> <laughs> roll. Um, so typically our season starts in March. Um, our season will end around November. Uh, so we do have an upcoming game in June, and it's going to be at the El Paso County Coliseum Judging Arena. So it's not the main building, but it's like a small little venue behind the main building uh, at the Coliseum. Uh, the, the cool thing about this game that we've had in previous seasons is it's a double header. So you're getting two games for the price of one. So you're getting four teams on that track. You know, first two teams will play halftime. Other two teams will play. Um, so you get to see all the teams within our league, all the girls that we have familiar faces, you get to see new faces, oh, cool. um, yeah. faces that came back from like years ago that are, you know, joining once again this season, but it's going to be a double header. I already came up with the theme and I'm sure, you know, it's going to be already out there. I'm hoping for it, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. quad game, a little spin off of squid games. Oh, nice. <laughs> That, that's so cool i mean i if, if i'm gonna I'll, I'll keep it in touch and that way maybe i can head out there and check it out for myself i mean it, yes. it was really cool the last time i went out to a couple of them and and then I, I have to ask the question did you ever see the movie whip it and what did you think oh my <laughs> whip it i actually you know a lot of girls will disagree mm -hmm. but whip it is like one of those rituals i have before a game Oh, no way. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. before I get ready, before I get ready for a game, I'll play whip it. I mean, it's not maybe the most accurate representation of bank check, but it does have yeah. its its little, I guess, core theme mm -hmm. of what bank track represents and what the women in bank track represent. Well, so that's, that's cool. why I watch it. No, that's cool. I, I, I enjoyed it. But I mean, it, it's way, way better in person. So if you're even if anyone's watching every even remotely curious, you need to go check the girls out. They they are awesome to watch. <laughs> you got you guys are awesome. So, well, I Thank will you. miss pretty poison. I will make sure I include all the information in the description below. So anyone can anyone interested in either joining or checking out checking out a couple matches. That way they can look you guys up. Um, is there anything else you want to say around before we end today? I suggest that whether it's local or not local, always check out roller derby matches. Support local roller derby, whether it's here, anywhere. Um, a lot of these leagues, as right now, especially during the pandemic, they're suffering. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of these places, they're either nonprofit, they're, they're LLCs, and, you know, due to the pandemic, they're hurting. So they need the support of their fans and just check out a game, pay a ticket. You know, it's going to help a league continue to grow so that roller derby itself can continue to grow. So, I mean, the more people go out there and, and look for any roller derby around their area, it's just going to help roller derby girls all over be able to get recognized and, and continue doing what they love. Right. And, and, you won't be disappointed if you go out and watch these girls go at it. It is awesome. So, so uh, Miss Miss Pretty Poison of the Borderland Roller Derby, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, we'll catch you soon, hopefully. Yes, we'll keep on rolling. <laughs> ah, I was, you beat me to it. Dang it. I did. <laughs> All right. Thank well, you. Thank you so much for joining me today.